This video is going to be going over how to add a layer to your Lambda functions on AWS. And basically that's going to allow you to add any sort of packages or libraries that you want that you'd be working with locally into your um, serverless environment on AWS. Uh, this tutorial will be going over specifically for Node um, packages and libraries. Um, I'll have another video going over doing it for Python, but this will just be for Node.js. So the first thing you need to do is open up an empty directory in your file explorer. So I've got this folder called AWS layers. And you need a folder inside that called Node.js. Click into Node.js and then you want a for folder called Node modules. And once you've made Node modules inside of Node.js, click into Node modules. It should be empty just like this and then go to whatever editor that you're using. So say I'm using Visual Studio Code. And what you want to do is you want to go into the Node Modules folder and open it up in the editor. Once you've got it in the editor, I'm going to open up a terminal. And then inside the terminal, now that make sure you're in the Node Modules directory, I'm going to install the packages just like I would uh, working with it locally. So let's say I do npm install and then we'll do Axios as an example. Let it finish its install and you should see them fill up here. You can go back to the file explorer just to make sure that it's filled up. Once you've finished this, go back to the original directory that you created right here. And you're going to want to zip this node.js folder. So right here. And I'm going to zip it just like that. Once you have Node.js zipped, make sure it's not anything inside of it. Make sure it's not Node modules. It needs to be Node.js that is zipped. Once you have that, you're ready to go over to AWS. And then over on the left here, I'm um, inside the Lambda dashboard. Click on the Layers tab. We're going to click Create Layer. And then this one has, just has access, so I'll call it that. And then click Upload a zip file, go to the zipped uh, Node.js file. And then just like that, now you can set up uh, your runtimes. I'm going to do x86 uh, for this. Uh, it should work for all your Node.js. You don't need to go to ARM64. And then I'll do Node.js 16, but this will work for other versions as well. And then that's all you have to do for making the layer. We'll just create it. And now once it's created, we can go back over to the Lambda dashboard. And then the first thing we want to look at is, I guess we'll do an example. So I have this Axios test function right here. And it's just a basic setup of a Lambda function. And I'm calling in the package Axios. And what I'm doing is I'm just making one Axios request to this API right here. And this is just some API I found on this website over here. That's going to basically allow me to test out Axios. And then I just chose this one, which will give me a URL of a dog. So if it works correctly with the Axios library, it should call um, and get me this. But you'll notice if I have no layers right here, see there is no data to display. If I try to use Axios without any layers added in, then we'll see what happens right here. See, it's going to have an error. I can't find the module because it has no idea where to look. It's not like uh, it can be installed locally or anything like that. So what we have to do is we have to add the layer, with that button right there. And then you just made one in custom layers. So we'll go here and then there it is. Axios layer version, we'll do version one. So now that it's added in, we go down to here, we should see Axios layer added in. And now the serverless environment has the package to work with. So now if we test it, exact same function, we get a URL right here. And let's just make sure it worked. And boom. So we can see that it worked. We got the image of the dog. So that's how you can basically get packages or libraries from Node.js that you'd be working with locally and put them into your serverless environment.